all welcome back to the lead code 102 problem so it tells that binary tree level water traversal that means let's study the question so yeah what it tells binary tree level water traversal given the root of a binary tree return the level water traversal of its node values that means we have to return the level water traversal in that manner this is the level that is the level 920 in that manner so let's understand the question it tells that we have to return the elements the elements currently we can observe this is zeroth level that is zeroth level that one is the first level and this one is the second level so we have to return the elements but in another form we have to return all the elements as a list that means we will be returning all those elements that are present here we have to return is as list as list we have to return all the elements and we have to return all the elements of particular level also as a list that means this element the elements of this particular level will have a particular list this will have a particular list so we have to return in this manner that means the main list the main things will that this section will contain the list of list list of list we can tell like this in programmatic manner which will be containing actual actually the integer and this is the main fact in the program in this program that is the main fact so let's understand so our input type will be just like we have to create a tree we have to just insert this tree and after that tree we will get the output as i told that we have to insert so how can we approach this we know that whenever we work with level water traversal we actually utilize a kiwi we actually utilize a kiwi this is a kiwi and in kiwi we insert element from one side and we remove the elements from another side so this is a kiwi structure kiwi and this is the tree 3 9 20 15 7 so first time we will be visiting the node we will be starting the root node so we will be starting from the zeroth level so whenever we will be starting from the zeroth level we will create a list we will create a list and in that list in this list we will be adding the third element so three will be a particular list okay did you got we will be creating a list of this 9 and 20 of this first level and this will be inserting this one as 9 20 and similarly we will be creating list and when all the list are created we will then insert the final all the list into this parent list this parent list we can call it as the result list so this is we have to construct so how we can construct the list we will be first inserting this three we will be inserting the three so first when we insert three it comes here this is at the three so when we process this element three that means when we again pop this element three and we add this element to list we next time just pop this element and add to the list three we have added here immediately we add this next left children and right children also so 9 and 20 will be now added now again we will check the label that how many levels or elements it it's have the size of the kiwi so it will return as kiwi key two so we'll again running the loop for two times and it will work accordingly so let's understand in lead code then you will be understanding the concept better okay so we are in the lead code and i have already solved the problem so okay they're removing everything so that we can start from the beginning and this is three node root so i'm removing everything so first what we have to do that we have to create the tree and we have to create the tree for that we have to declare the public study void main string of then we'll be creating the object solution shawl one that is equals to new new solution so now we created the object now we need the tree node so we have to declare the tree root node here tree node root so now we have declared the root and now we have to allocate space to the root root solution one dot root because we are accessing with respect to the object so that is equals to new tree node and this is three okay now solution one dot root dot left because the left side is having the value 9 we are inserting this one new tree node 9 okay now solution 1 dot root dot right new tree node 20 solution 1 dot root dot right 
dot left new tree node 15 solution 1 root dot right dot right new tray node 7 so this is where I've inserted all the elements that means now by now we have created the tree so now we have to call this function public list level order and then we will write the function of traversal in this function so let's call this function so it will return observe the return type it will return this list of list integer so okay let's write it and let's call it result solution one dot level water and it's gotten from row solution one row okay so now we are here and we'll be starting from the beginning so first we will be creating the same result array because we need some result to store all the list so list of list integer result that is equals to new array list instead of array list we will be utilizing linked list linked list for further optimization so by now we have created the linked list now we'll be checking if the root equals to null if root equals to null so if root equals to null so we'll be simply returning the result return result you have observed sometimes that instead of this result we have also sometimes we just return so if the return type would be void then we would return only return statement but now the return type is this type so we are returning a type in a, a object of this type result okay so we'll be moving towards the next line and now we need to create a kiwi because we'll be utilizing kiwi here so kiwi kiwi and we'll be storing tree node here tree node kiwi new and with respect to link list we'll be implementing the tree i mean we'll be implementing the kiwi with respect to link list so first we'll be adding the root node kiwi dot add root so now we added the root node after we have added the root node we'll be checking if the kiwi is empty or not so while kiwi while kiwi dot is empty i mean till kiwi is not empty then we'll be running our program so not of kiwi dot is empty that means till the kiwi is full our program will run so first we'll be checking the level size integer integer level size that is equals to kiwi dot size so it will provide us it will provide us the elements the number of elements number of elements in the kiwi it will provide us the number of elements in the kiwi so once we get the number of elements in the kiwi now we can so it will provide like this manner this line will provide in this manner level by level first when it will be in this here this position it will return us one second time the size will return us two you might be thinking why this size function will return just level by level because we insert our next level only when we pop the elements if we just pop the element three from here when you pop the element three from here then only we insert this nine and twenty as the left child and right child that's why so okay let's move to the coding section So after we have gotten now we'll be creating our next level where we'll be adding those elements. So let's create the current level integer list. Again we'll be creating list of integer integer. So integer let's call it current level and that is equals to new link list. Okay. Now we have created the current level where we'll be storing the elements. Now we'll be processing all the nodes of the current level. So processing all the nodes of the current level. So again, we'll be running the program of for for integer i equals to zero. I less than i less than level size level size i plus plus. So now we will be popping all the elements tree node current node. So this current node kiwi dot poll. This function will pull all the nodes one by one and we will be adding the nodes of that level into the current level. Current level dot add of current node current node dot val. So this will add the node. Now we will be checking if it's having any 
element in its left side so if current node dot left not equals to null if it's not null that means it's having a value so we'll be adding that into kiwi kiwi dot add kiwi dot add current node dot left we'll be checking the same things for right also if current current node dot right not equals to null so simply kiwi dot add current node dot right and now we added element in both the left and right sided so after the for loop is executed the for loop is executed we will be adding that level this current level to the final level once the for loop is executed that is all elements are added to the current level so we will be adding like this result dot add and current level so now the current level is added with respect to that loop so once this while loop is process proceed we'll be returning the result return result and now we'll be running the program let's see okay it has been 90.22 percent of people so it can it could be 100 percent also so for now our main motto is to solve with any easy strategy after that we'll be proceeding towards more advanced strategy so okay meeting the next